This is John Behind's review of the new Wizard of Oz. Timeless children's classic, The Wizard of Oz, has been much interfered with, and the latest remake, set in our very own land of Oz, is no exception. In this version, little Dorothy is replaced by little Anthony, likably played by the ever-boyish Anthony Albanese, who emerges from a hard housing estate childhood and is swept up, not by a tornado, but by the far more fearsome labour machine and transported into a magical but murky world of political posturing. With his real-life dog, Toto, little Anthony arrives in young Labourland, where he quickly rises above the municipal munchkins to become a major mover and shaker. He and Toto head off along not the yellow brick road, but the purple path to power in search of the political wizard who can point the way to the much sought after second term. Along the way, they pick up the necessary numbers from an unlikely trio of compadres of convenience. These include the Green Man, Adam Bant as an earnest but somewhat stiff seeker of sustainability, the trepidatious Teal, a colourblind creature craving a consistent constituency, and the spare crow, a mostly rustic rag bag of independent and often incoherent ideologies. Opposing them at every turn is the feared Wicked Witch of the North, disturbingly brought to half-life by Peter Dutton, drawing heavily on Vader and Voldemort, taunting little Anthony as a boy in a man's body, in a voice that would peel solar panels while purposefully poisoning referenda and undermining anything remotely renewable. <laughs> Swarming about, but uh, never quite under the control of the Wicked Witch, are a coalition of flying gnats, including a red-nosed gnat named Barnaby, who provides much of the comic relief with his garrulous gaffs and slapstick pratfalls to nearby pavements. Barely beating off these charismatically challenged challenges, guided by the mythical light on the hill, his friends crossing the floor backwards and forwards as they see fit, little Anthony sticks stoically to the middle of the road and finally leads his labouring and cross-benching comrades to the crazy city of circuits, where he finds the much-vaunted wizard is something of a spin doctor and a political wisdom reduced to mere smoke and mirrors financed as usual by the big end of town with a rather grating soundtrack from gotcha gang the press gallery and cinematography fueled by fatuous photo opportunities the new wizard of oz is well it's a bit of a mixed bag it would be funny if it weren't so true i'm john behind yeah.